One thing that blew my mind when I figured it out is that you can actually make potato chips in this guy right here. You don't need an oven, you don't need a pan, you just need a little bit of this, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. A little oh. bit of this, a little, a little bit, bit of, of a little bit crazy of this, hair little. and whatever. <laughs> So you're telling me you can make potato chips in a microwave? Yeah. Not I, if you have a sl mandolin slicer, you can slice these guys up perfectly. But all you do is take a knife, and you want to slice these things thin. It's really hard to say, like, if, you know, from camera, but this is, I don't know, like an eighth of an inch or something. What I thought would be cool is, screw doing a regular potato chip, let's do salt and vinegar potato chips. Why not? And since we don't have that crazy vinegar powder stuff, I actually dropped them into vinegar. A tiny bit of water, mostly white distilled vinegar in here. You just drop these chips in, right? And you let them sit for 10 minutes, let them sit for an hour, two hours. The longer you sit, the longer the delicious flavor is going to get in there. Once your potatoes have been soaking, you take them out, put them on some paper towels, and you pat those bastards as dry as you humanly can. A little bit of oil. Kanolski is great. What's Kanolski? Kanolski. I'm going to use a little bit of pepper. You know, you don't have to because salt and vinegar is usually just salt. Little but you want salt. an extremely generous helping of the salt, man. That's a good amount of that. Oil both sides. Pepper on Give me this some more side. salt on this side. I like the pepper. It just kind of looks cool. It does look They're like nice. salt and pepper and vinegar potato chips. What? You can season them with anything, though. Any kind of salt, seasonings, cumin, chili powder, paprika, all that good shit. Get in there, you rat bastard. So what I did was I took some, hopefully parchment paper, but I didn't have any. So I took some wax paper and I oiled it. But parchment paper is God. Wax paper kind of sucks, Wax to be paper does blow. It smokes in it. Now you just put these chips on here. All right. Get your head out of there. I'm just gonna hit this on for two minutes. And this is really where, it, no, it's not even on. Son of a bitch. Go we'll unplug the microwave. You're fucking fired, Bob. <laughs> I'm gonna pop this on for two minutes, and you're gonna let them cook. They're gonna start to brown up a little bit, and you will be amazed because these things will actually become crispy potato chips. But once they start to brown, flip them over, cook them more. They're gonna take anywhere from three to five to six to seven, or so <laughs> minutes. It's really, they're done when they're done. I'd love to give you an exact thing, but I don't know, because every time I cut them, a little bit different and then they cook a little Josh bit. Josh is always covering his ass, giving these large, large ranges. From just two when, minutes to 15 minutes yeah, to six, uh, maybe an hour in the microwave. Yeah, Who but knows? when you're watching Food Network, you know, and they're like, this is gonna bake for 10 minutes. It's never the case. Everyone's <laughs> oven's different. Everyone in this case, are microwaves are different powers. Like, you need to put in a tiny bit of effort on your part to make sure it tastes good. If you mess don't it give up, a shit. If you mess it up, please don't give a shit. You can give a shit, but try it give again shit, at least. But don't give me shit. Yeah, give me shit. At least try it again. All right, so what I've been doing is every two minutes I check them, I give them a flip. Our microwave's kind of crappy, so they've been in there for about seven or eight minutes. Yours might take less time. The important thing is that when you look at them, they look what delicious. The <laughs> they look like kettle cooked chips. Isn't that crazy? Holy shit. Yeah, let's get them out of here. Let's get them out. And the thing about these potato chips is they're not some like shitty potato chip afterthought. Like these are true, glorious, delicious chips. They're I no mean, afterthought. Look at that. All right. Crispy. And they were cooked just in a microwave. All we did was slice down some potatoes, drop them in some vinegar. You don't even have to do that. You can just skip that. Just pat them dry. I've never try one of these in my life. Right? Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Very unique. Not your classic mm. potato chip. They got a little bit of give to them. They're not all crunch. But mm. they do still have that nice texture. And play around. Try cutting them thicker. Try cutting mm. them thinner. The important thing is that you watch them so when they start to brown, you test them and you'll see if they're crunchy. If they're not crunchy, you know, let them in a little bit longer. And these chips are sturdy too. Like you could make a little mini double decker sandwich with one of these things and eat like a potato chip sandwich. Oh my God. You're right. This would be mm. a good hors d'oeuvre. Mm hmm. I don't know what I'm thinking, but something sprinkled on there. Something sprinkled on, game over. <laughs>